All right, are you getting an error on your on your on your car that says replace battery or battery dying or something like that? You need to get this Energizer 2032. I don't know if you could read the number, but it's 2032 Energizer lithium battery. It looks like this. I don't know why mine's dented, but you have to open the key like this, pop it out like this, and then you have to stick this in here like this. Try to be kind of gentle, not like I'm being, and twist it, and it pops open like this. But make sure you keep the uh, the buttons face down, or else they're going to all fall out, and you're going to have to watch another video on how to reinstall it, like I did. Uh, so you try to try to keep this in, because this will come out, and then the, all the little buttons will come out, and it's, it's not fun. These little tabs... These little black tabs are holding the battery in. And it's kind of a pain and then you know what to get out. So if you, if you pull this tab and you push the battery out like this, it might come out, but it might need some coercing like this. Ah, that's what I didn't want to happen. It was what you can hear that little thing popped out. The other little buttons are popping out. That's what I didn't want to happen. Um, if you push this little tab here and you try to push the battery out, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. All the ones on TV, uh, all the ones on YouTube I watch, uh, uh, they seem to have no problem, but when I try to do it, it doesn't work. Sometimes you put a little, okay, I got it out. Be careful with these little tabs. These little tabs right here, be careful, because if you bend those up, it's not gonna be good. You take the new battery and you slide it in and you snap it in, and that's the wrap. Make sure these buttons are, because what I felt like it, when it popped out, I felt like these buttons were, um, we're gonna see, I don't know. I'm trying to snap it back together and see if the buttons look like they're going to work. Uh, so far, unsuccessful. I think it's not working because those buttons are... Make sure you push this down a little bit and try to get it smaller. I've actually done it before and it was easier. But, well, that's the idea. All right, so smash the thumbs up button for me, and I'll see you on the next video. But this is all right. This is, that's the simple part. I did. I showed you the hard part. It's not really supposed to be that hard. Putting this back together. It's just snapping the snap back together. It snaps back together, but I'm, I think what the problem is is this. You got to be careful with this. Because when these things pop out, that's when all the bad stuff starts to happen. I'll show you what I mean here. And here is all the little buttons. Make sure you hold it. See how the, see how the button's starting to pop out? Oh, this one fell out, see? This one right here. This has to come off. And this, this is this is when it falls apart and when it's not pretty. This little thing here, this is how it goes back together. Make sure you got, make sure you get the right ones. The, uh, the lock buttons at the, t at the uh, top, no. The lock button's at the top, then this one, and then the, uh, the trunk release and the, uh, the remote start. So you put the, go backwards, re reverse engineering. You put that there, and you make sure you do it the right way. Put this one here. 
and then um, this has to go in here like this. Or else that's that, that's what holds these other buttons in. And then uh, this one goes this way. Ah, uh, yeah. And it all falls apart again. So you see, it's it's kind of you gotta have steady hands. But it's really not that difficult. And you know, it helps if you have good eyes too. Because we're talking about talking about little tiny pieces right now. And if your eyesight's not that great, it's not gonna be pretty. it then you're gonna make sure this goes only goes one way so you gotta make sure you put it the right way okay that looks good that looks good you put this back in of course it helps if you remember how it looked earlier I think it goes like this of course I got it the wrong way like this Okay, so that's how it goes. It goes like this. Oh, I think I just heard it, all the buttons fall out again. But I'm not sure. You see how the little button's falling out? That's what you're trying to avoid have happen. It looks like it's all good. Feels good now, I don't know. Alright, how did I say this goes? This only goes one way. It has to go like this. So I'm gonna flip it over like this. Okay. This goes like this. Oh, look at that. I put, the, I put the car in upside down. The car is in upside down. Make sure you put the car in, up, not upside down. I don't think that's what's causing the problem for me not closing it, though. Make sure there's a little bit of gap there, and then you put this one here. There's a little bitty point right here, and that little bitty point goes right there. Okay, so that felt good. Make sure you don't put the car in upside down, though. Okay, so the car goes like this. It's got to go like this. This is the remote start. All right, let's make sure. Oh crap! Fell out. Okay, that's that's the right. At least the car's not upside down now. All right, so that goes there. Hmm. If you look at this piece, it tells you there's, there's two little there's two little buttons here. That's, so that makes the, the two buttons co correspond to down here. That red, that big red, the the uh, emergency, what they call it when the car go, the company the car alarm go off. The panic, yeah, the panic button. Thanks, mom. The panic button. Sometimes that falls out too. It's it's easy to put back together though. This is the hard part here, remembering how this was. Okay, you can look at this, 
This is the lock button. You can tell by looking at this, this is the lock button. These are the two buttons at the bottom. So you just flip it over like this. It can only go this way. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't really, feels kind of good. You've had that upside down every time. Did I? Mm -hmm. Well, that's probably why it didn't work then. That's probably why it wouldn't snap back together. If you look at this long part right here, it's gonna match up with this long part right here. They're still not wanting to snap back together though. Still not wanting to snap back together. The only thing I could think of is too thick. Hmm. Aha, wait. Aha, that's a wrap. And you see the little button, the red light comes on. All the buttons are good. Make sure all the buttons are good and the panic button. My car is not outside, so it's not a problem. All right, click the smash the thumbs up button for me and, I'll subscri and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.